Baudelaire's Flaneur has nothing and everything to do with this exhibition. Nothing in that his 19th century dandy existed in a bourgeoisie modernist vacuum. Nothing in that the Flaneur, as described by the poet and author, can only ever be male gendered. But then again, the Flaneur has everything to do with this exhibition. I would argue that without the influence and thinking of Baudelaire, paintings like these would not exist and our relationship to them would be forever changed. Have you ever felt that secret joy of having anonymity in a crowd of strangers? Have you ever felt that you could go anywhere, do anything, and say what you want simply because you remain nameless? It is in these moments that each of us, male and female, becomes the flamer and engages in the work of the poet. The poet is a self-proclaimed and self-believing monarch of the crowd, and because he can or does look just like anyone else, nowhere is forbidden to him. Spatially, morally, and culturally, the public holds no mysteries for the man who is proud of the mystery of himself. The poet can put on whatever mask will gain him access to otherwise secret and mysterious places. For him alone, everything is vacant, and if certain places seem close to him, it is only because, in his eyes, they are not worth visiting. Keith Tester the poet in Metropolis is in complete control of meaning-making, and the work of the artist-poet, the flaneur, is to see the world, to discover its hidden meanings and messages without being discovered, seen, or acknowledged. The paintings in Absent the Crowd do the same work. They describe for the viewer in colors, shapes, and patterns a world that is accessible and invite their viewers to become the maker of things and the shaper of meanings.